my name is Neve Scanlon, I'm 13 years old and I'm EU Digital Girl of the Year 2015. <laughs> So first of all, I have a few questions for you. How many of you can read? Put your hands up. So most of you. How many of you can write? Put your hands up again. Again, most of you. And how many of you can write computer code? A lot of you, but not as many. So you might be thinking, well, why does it matter whether I can write computer code or not? Actually, we use the products of computer code every day. So maybe you've used Google today or Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all these things are made using code. Coding are lines of instructions which tell a computer what to do, and they help us make apps, websites, games, and even control robots. Now I have another question for you to think about. What lets you be creative? Art lets you be creative, and if you mastered those skills, you might become a famous artist. Writing lets you be creative, and if you master these skills, you could write a bestseller. Music lets you be creative, and, after, in, and if you master those skills, you could become a famous pop, sc pop star or a composer. And Lego lets you be creative too. Well, we've all been creating things with Lego since we were younger. So just like all these other things, coding lets you be creative. And that's the big thing that I found when I started Kodu Dojo in Dublin City University when I was nine years old. I remember that my mom heard about it from the president of DCU, and I wasn't really sure what coding was. I mean, I had used apps and games, but I never really knew what went on behind the scenes. So I went on the first day not knowing anything, and I came out having made a website. I remember we changed the background color and we added pictures, and even though now that I think back on it, it was so simple, I was amazed. Since then, I've gone on to make more complex apps, websites, and games. One of the apps that I've made is called a Recharge My eCar, which is an app which tells the drivers of electric cars where all the charging points are in Ireland and whether they're currently in use or not. Another app that I've made is called Auto Journalist, and it's to help journalists and interviewees who live in different time zones so they might not be able to call each other. So it's to help them do interviews using audio and video. I've entered both of these projects into a big competition that Coder Dojo run called the Coolest Projects Awards. So in the Coolest Projects Awards, people from, young people from, uh, from Coder Dojos all over the world come together and they present their projects to each other and to judges, and it's a really cool day, and there's a robot, as you can see on the screen. It's, it's just really cool. So from things like Coder Dojo and the Coolest Projects Awards, I've had loads of opportunities that I'm really grateful for. There's me mentoring at the Girls Hack Ireland Hackathon, which was held in Dublin City University. And they're going to be holding um, another hack to hackathon tomorrow at the Fringe Fest. So if you know any young girls that might be interested in that, I definitely recommend going to it. Uh, back in January, I went to the World Economic Forum, which is held in Davos in Switzerland. And while I was over there, I helped out with mentoring a Coder Dojo session for s some of the school children from Davos and that was run by Salesforce. And then I also got to meet people like Will I Am, Bono, Ariana Huffington, and I was, it was a really cool time. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a picture from Outbox Incubator, which Mary was talking about, and I, like, watching that video, it just made me remember all of the memories, and it was a really amazing time. And then I got to speak at big events like this, and I, there's me speaking at International Women's Day in 2016, which is run by Accenture. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to do interviews about coding and creativity. And uh, last year, I helped to launch the Inspire Fest 2015. And at that time, I just won two Air Junior Spider Awards for my app Recharge My eCar. So that was a really great time. I've won a Coolest Projects Award in 2014. And last December, I won EU Digital Girl of the Year 2015. Just two weeks ago, I got to go to Paris, where General Electric were holding a big conference called Minds and Machines Europe. So while I was over there, I got to do Periscope interviews, and I talked on stage. So from going to all these events and conferences, I've noticed that we need more diversity in coding and tech. And one way we can do this is by getting more girls in coding. 
So I've seen this happen at Kodu Dojo in Dublin City University, where they started a Kodu Dojo Girls. So girls could come along with their friends, and it was a class that would just have girls in it, so girls wouldn't be intimidated or think that coding was a boys thing, because it definitely isn't. And one other thing that I think will help is if girls have role models in coding and tech. And here are just a few of my role models. Katrina Carrigan is a mentor in Dublin City University in the Kodu Dojo there, along with Vanessa Green. And Kira Whelan attends the classes in Kodu Dojo in Dublin City University. So I think we need to get more young people, especially girls, involved in coding. And we need to tell young people that coding is all about creativity and make the link there. So Hour of Code is one way that we can do this. So Hour of Code is where you spend an hour doing drag and drop coding, and they link in with things like Minecraft, Frozen, and Star Wars. So it's on code.org. And an example of this working was with my brother. So he's younger than me, and he's really into Minecraft, like he watches all the YouTubers and everything. And I remember telling him that there's an error of code for Minecraft, and he was a bit confused. He was like, oh, well, I don't know what this is. But when he tried it out, he definitely spent more than an hour working on changing things in the code, and he was really fascinated. Then we need to get more young people into Kodu Dojo. So if there's a Kodu Dojo near you, you should definitely go and mentor and help out. And even if you're not a tech wizard or you don't know that much about tech, don't be afraid to go and try being a mentor. because. I started mentoring in a Scratch class, which is drag and drop coding. So I started mentoring there, and I knew nothing about Scratch. But from mentoring, I learned about how to use Scratch, and now I know more about it. And if you go onto CodyDojo.com, where you'll find all the Kodu Dojos in the world, and if there isn't a Kodu Dojo near you, you should definitely start one up, because we want to give like your local children more opportunities so that they can come to a Kodu Dojo. If you remember two things from my talk, let them be that coding is all about creativity, and we can use this to get more young people into coding. Thank you. Thanks so much. Want to be in the audience next time? Click here for tickets to InspireFest 2017.